Hi, my amazing planner friends. It's Jess from my magical planner, and I have my new Simply Gilded subscription box here. It is so exciting. This is exactly how it comes in the mail with one modification. It did have a big sticker here that had like, you know, the mailing information and everything. I read on the Facebook group that if you heated it up with a hairdryer, you could pull it right off. And I figured I'd give it a shot before I did the video and it totally worked. So you just heat up the adhesive, I think, with the hairdryer and you can pull it right off. I did use my tweezers to get it started and accidentally kind of poked into the um the cardboard there that's why that's there and this one too was me trying to pull with my tweezers i actually figured out once i got it started it was easier to do with my hand rather than tweezers but a lot of people were wanting to keep the box we will be getting the same box i believe every time now rather than a custom box each month this is what it's going to look like it's definitely much smaller than the old subscription boxes but that's fine the subscription like the prices stay the same it's 30 dollars. you're just getting less in the box because the economy has changed the price of goods has changed and all of that really that doesn't bother me i'm I was mainly using the washi and the stickers anyhow, which is what stayed in the subscription. And I used the pens. The other stuff was, you know, it was nice, but there's only so many pouches that I can use. So I'm okay buying those on my own and just getting like the, the main part of the kit. So let's get into this. I will go over like a price comparison to show you the value at the end. So we'll just slit it here and oh look at how pretty that is it's very very cute I actually like the sturdier box a little bit better than the the thinner boxes that were put in the mailer because it kind of it feels like it protects things a little bit better and I I'm not positive I think there might have been something extra special in this box because I'm, uh, I was a subscriber before the switch, and so I think she might have put something extra in here, but I'm not positive. But now our washi, instead of being individually wrapped in like the plastic, she's trying to do a more environmentally friendly friendly packaging. So they're in this box, which I really love the box. It's called Cafe Fleur. I think I'm saying that right. It's a essentially a French cafe theme. So let's look at some of this other stuff. Oh, hold on. Let's look at some of this other stuff first before I get into these things. So there is just a little notepad here. It's really cute. I love their notepads. And notepads are so they're so useful. I mean, let's be honest. So I don't know if everybody got this or if this is just for people who were subscribing. I know we got a 25% off coupon code as well. So I don't know if it was just that. I do like that this is just, you know, just paper and paper is so easy to recycle. It's just a notepad. It's not a sticky notepad, but it's the perfect size, especially like I tend to write down a couple notes before I start a video and this is perfect for that. And then we also have, of course, the postcard. I'm kind of hoping that she's going to do this with all the boxes. I don't remember if she said she was going to, though. But I, I love the postcard or journaling card aspect because I love to send these to people, actually. Or if I really like them, I'll put them up here in my office. Sometimes I frame them. And this one's really pretty. So I love the little cafe here. It reminds me of last year there was a Paris kit and it had a similar feel to it. So I'm really excited about that. I love the lights too. So, so cute. And look at these flowers. Ugh. Okay. And then here's our pen. So the pens I believe were, yeah, it feels the same. So these are just, they're a metal pen that's kind of got a little weight to it. So it's easier like... You know when you have a really good knife for your kitchen, it has a little weight to it? It's the same thing with pens. So just the, the same type of pens that we have been getting with this beautiful flower pattern on it. I 
believe these are 0.5, but don't quote me on that. And they are a gel ink pen. Usually it's black and you can get refills in her shop for those. Okay, let's do stickers first and then washi because you guys can see the stickers already. So this is the new format for her sticker stickers. <clears throat> And I was actually talking with a couple of people offline about the sticker kits. And one thing people seemed to be interested in was seeing someone use the whole kit for like, see how many spreads you can get out of it. So I'm considering doing that either with this kit or one of the kits I already have. This would be really fun though. So we have our first page with all of our big decorative boxes here. We have the Bon Appetit. We have, oh, this really cute cupcake. Some It makes me want to say bonbons, but I don't know if that's actually what it is <laughs> with the little pink on here. I love the black and white boxes a lot. Don't get me wrong. I like the green ones too. I just am really drawn to those ones. I like the addition of this little black and white element at the top. It kind of makes me think of it being a cafe. This would be a fun box to layer on and like layer another sticker on to be able to write on there or some other stickers to, you know, add a focus to it. And then down here at the bottom, we have our headers. So you have three of the pink, three of the stripe here and three black ones. Then our next page, you have some kind of functional headers here. So you have two that say family, two that say work, one gratitude. And this one kind of has the days of the week at the top. So you can use it like a habit tracker, that kind of thing. You have a couple of bow checklists up here. These are three bow checklists. And then you have third boxes through this area in all the colors. And then these are more headers. And these are half boxes down here at the bottom. This is a really pretty design. I really like that. I think she's used something similar in like the book. There was a book kit that had a couple of these flourishes that were, if not the same, very similar. So, and then our next page, we have our flag page, which, oh my gosh, look at these flags right here. They're so, so pretty. So I love these. I love that they're, so you have one that's more decorative and it usually kind of tells you like these ones, it won't matter because you could do them either way, but sometimes they have a pattern that's more to one orientation than the other. And so you usually have one row like that and one that is more plain that you could use in any capacity. So besides that, we have a row of check boxes here. So I think you have five, right? One, two, three, four, five, oh, six. Six of the hearts and probably there's four of this type and four of this type. So eight there. And then you have these smaller flags with icons on them at the bottom. I really love the size of these, honestly, they work really well. And then you have deco down here and you have more icons here at the bottom, as well as these bows that you can use either as decorations or for functional things and some very decorative headers there. And then our final page has all of our days of the week here. So we have one that's just in green, one in the black and white. It does have a green stripe down there too. And then one in black. And then this one is, <laughs> so we have like this, I, I don't want to say white. It's like a creamy color. And then you have that green and you have pink. I love that she kind of incorporated something new, but also gave you some of what was already there. Then we have a couple more half boxes here, a couple more of those functional headers. So we have meeting, appointment, important, important goals, shopping list, meal plan, to clean and to do. So along with that, you also get these. These are her um, seals, which are really pretty. So I, I enjoy putting these as like an additional decoration on packages and stuff. I have seen some really cute spreads though where people are using them in the spread. They just tend to be too big for me because I, I need to put a lot on my spreads because it, it's very functional for me. So there's those. And then this sheet has our numbers on it right through there. Plus you get a couple more heart icons. They are all heart cut. Let's see. I don't see my tweezers right here. I think I've left them with the hairdryer, <laughs> but that's the shape of the number or the icon. 
pens. So that is your sticker kit. And now on to the big reveal, the washi. So I'm trying to remember how many washies she said we're going to, oh, they are still wrapped in plastic. I didn't think they were gonna be wrapped in plastic, but okay, that's fine. So we have, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, and six different ones. All right, so. Oh, there might be seven. This looks like it's two different ones in here. I'm going to go ahead and open these up and then we'll get out my swatch book to go ahead and swatch them. All right, guys, here's all of our washi. I am really loving this print here. It, like the white is a true white in there and it makes those flowers just pop off. This Paris scene here with the cafes is super cute. I love the little gold touches and everything and just how intricate everything is from like the little coffee on top here with the little swirls you have for like something being hot are right there and everything. It's a lot of detail. I really like this washi as well. If I had to pick my favorite, I don't know, it might be this one or it's hard to choose between those two for me, but I think they're both really pretty and very elegant. This one is a really interesting pattern, right? I, I didn't think I would like it to be honest, but seeing it in person, it seems much more elegant than I thought it would. So it makes me think of a high class restaurant or a cafe where you'd get breakfast or something. The gold is almost like a matte gold rather than a super shiny gold, which is really nice as well. And it's that same gold here. So it seems a little bit more matte than like super duper shiny. And I love this new cutout washi that she's coming out with. I think it's really fun and awesome. You do have to be a little bit careful with some of the cutout washi and actually slice the washi rather than just, you know, use a card or I tend to use my craft knife and just pick up to get that cut line. But with like, especially the heart ones that she came out with, you have to actually cut down the slide. Otherwise the integrity of it is just a little weaker. These are our last two. I think she said they're seven millimeters. I'm not positive on that though. So you just have two with a smaller washi. So, all right, now that you've seen everything in here, let's go ahead and go over the pricing. Like if you were to go to her shop right now and you wanted to purchase each one of these items individually, what would it cost you? So pens in her shop run about $10. So we have a $10 value right here. The sticker kit itself, so without the seals, they're running about $18 for the whole sticker kit. I'm not going to include a price for the seals because I think I might be a little off on some of the washi estimates that I have. So I'm kind of going to have that be an evening out area because I had a little trouble finding some one-to-one -one matches with a couple of sizes and designs. So... You can buy two packs like this that are, I think this is the five millimeter, but I'm, I'm not a hundred percent positive, but they run about $5 in the shop. So we have $5 there. And then she does have some scallop washi like this, but it's a two pack with a larger washi and a smaller washi. And I'm not sure 
where this falls on it, if it will be the same size or not. So I took that number and I divided it by two, which gave me 550. And then I just, I decided to cut off the 50 cents. And so I'm estimating it at $5. And then we have this washi. I had a little trouble finding a smaller size washi like this without a companion bigger washi. So I'm estimating that at $5 as well. These three I know for sure would be about $5.50 in her shop, which would give us a $16.50 value there. So I think that's everything. I'm not going to include this because I don't think that this type of item is going to be the norm. I think this was a first time box type thing and a thank you for subscribing. And like I said, I'm not sure that everybody got this. So I'm going to set it off to the side. We're going to count it as a freebie. So taking all of that and adding it up gave me a value of $59.50. So I paid $30 and that was it. $30 included my shipping and everything. Where in the past I did have to pay for shipping. So I am seeing a little bit of a a price decrease for me. I also used to get the add-on washi. That is no longer an option. She kind of streamlined things. So like this is the subscription and it doesn't go into other areas. And I'm fine with that because there's only so much washi you can use. I love my washi. I think it's amazing. I think it's beautiful. It's incredibly useful. You can do a million different things with it. But I can't go through a whole roll. <laughs> like it takes me a long time. I think the roll that I've used the most, I've only gone through half of it. So having like an infinite amount of washi can be a bad thing because then it cuts down in your creativity. So I like the fact that I'm getting fewer washi, but I feel like they're good washi. Like in the past, there were a couple rolls that I would probably use for the spread that I did with the kit. And then after that, maybe I wouldn't use them. I think that I would use all of these, honestly. So I really like the florals. I love these type of scenes. I love putting them at, at the bottom of my pages. This one, I don't see myself using a lot, but I do see me using it from time to time, especially if I wanted to put a little something on like Saturday or Sunday or like Easter brunch, something like that. This one is a little bit busy for me, but when you see it down here, it's not too bad. And this particular size washi is probably the size I use the most. So, and there's a lot of different patterns that I could see myself using that in. So, I'm, I'm pretty positive on this one. This one is so universal. I mean, you, you do have a little bit of green in there, but it's almost unnoticeable. And then you have the black and white and gold, which go with almost everything. And like I said, it's that size that I use all the time because I can have it vertically. I can have it horizontally. And this pattern allows me to do that as well. It's a little harder with this one with the bows because the bows look a little off. This one is probably going to become one of my most used washies. I guarantee it because I love the scalloped edge and it's gold. It'll go with just about every gold kit I have. And then this one, the black, white, and gold. Yes, we have green in there, but like I said, it's almost unnoticeable. So I would say that I will probably get a ton of use out of this one too. Compared to some of the other kits, and not every kit is going to be this way for me. I know that. I know that going in. I love most of her stuff, but occasionally there's something that isn't for me. And that's okay. That's the joy of having a subscription is you get the surprise, but with the surprise, you have to like 90% of what that person creates in the first place in order for you to really have that subscription work for you. So I think overall, I'm really happy with it. I don't know if everybody will be, but that's kind of my take on things. I'd be interested to see what you guys think and how you're feeling about the transition, because I know it is a big transition and it's hard for a lot of people and the price is going to be challenging for some. So I just want to, I want to hear what you guys have to say. 
So that all being said, I am planning on, I think, using this kit this week. So look for a plan with me coming up soon. It will probably, it'll probably be up on Sunday, but I'm not or the following Sunday because I'll use it this week, which means the plan with me will come out next week, which is, hold on. I'll get my dates right here for you guys. So plan on that being out on the 20, yes, 27th, because I always do my plan with me's where I pre-plan my week and then I do my voiceover actually at the end of the week so you can see what worked and what didn't. So that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you.